with Liberty Me, here with Marianne Copenhaver, <laughs> or as many people know, Libertarian Girl, although if those people had any idea half of the things she does, she would be better known for just about everything else. <laughs> so, w some of the stuff you do is in the realm of politics, and this is weird and strangely contentious in this movement because most people are convinced, it seems like, uh, it seems like a majority, I don't have numbers on me, but it, it seems like a majority of people in this movement consider politics to be either counterproductive or neutral. So tell me, why do you believe it to be important and why is it that you continue to do what you do in the, pol in the political realm? Well, I think that that's the best way to reach out to people because if you have major legislative is legislative issues and you can talk about those issues and how they're going to affect people and that's something that's happening in real time and that's an easy way to connect with other people. And if you don't have that that way to relate to other people, I think it's harder to get them to understand where you're coming from. Sure, sure. So, you know, so you're saying that it's it's important as a tool to spread ideas. Not necessarily, you know, you aren't, you aren't claiming that, you know, it's, it's some like pure libertarian ideology to engage in, in partisan or electoral politics. But, you know, the fact of the matter is most of us are here because of Ron Paul. A lot of us are here because of Ron Paul. And so that works. Is that an accurate depiction? Yes. I'm, I'm not, um, I don't believe that working on the federal level is very um, productive because I think that it's so far gone that there's not much that you can do on a federal level. On the local level, however, I think you can do a lot. You can stop tax increases and you can stop regulatory um, zoning issues, stuff like that. And, and everything, every little bit helps. So I think that's really important to start the groundwork from from the local level to the federal level. Sure, but I mean, even on the federal level, you know, we, we used the, or he used the uh, Republican debates as as Ron Paul did as a way to uh, really make what make headway with people I mean do you think there are any other places as far as uh, federal politics besides elections as a platform that that can actually help that can actually help to achieve more freedom on the federal level yeah um, I don't know I would say like Events like what's going on right now, you've got Justin Amash down there, and he is a Republican congressman openly using the word libertarian, talking about himself as a libertarian. And I think that encourages other congressmen to get out and do the same. And he has said that that that's inspires them, and a lot of them run for office because of him. So I think that that's, that's an amazing thing. I don't think that there's anything negative about the word libertarian being used in the government on a federal level. Sure, sure. Some people have accused you of, you know, being a shill for the Repu Republican Party and, and different things like that. The, the strange, the strange uh, issues of Facebook politicking <laughs> uh, abound. But honestly, just from a personal standpoint, I've rarely met someone that is more passionate about increasing personal freedom for as many people as possible as you are. Um, and I mean that just in a purely descriptive way. I'm not trying to compliment you, though. You know, whatever. <laughs> but I've, I want to know, because I've never asked you, what is it that makes you, I mean, there may be multiple things, but what is it that makes you so passionate about increasing freedom for as many people as possible? Um, well, first I want to address the Republican shill issue. I am a Republican. Yeah, I'm a Republican. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I should I should have put that out. So yeah, so you're registered as a Republican and you consider yourself a Republican, no, I'm but I'm for precinct committee as a Republican. Okay. So I it's not me being a shill. I mean, I will straight tell you, I'm I'm a Republican. I think it's the best way to the best political party to to get things done in because they they already have the influence. And if you don't have somebody kind of guiding their direction, then they're going to do whatever they want regardless. So um, what was the other question? Oh, sure. Well, I mean, let's let's go ahead and go with that for a little while. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, it's interesting to me that so so re you say the Republican Party is the best way to get libertarian ideas out there. Do you think that the Republican Party can be changed? Do you think it can be reformed into a into maybe not even a more libertarian party, an actual feasible electable libertarian party? I think it's happening already. Um 
it's incredibly frustrating. Uh, every day I ask myself if, if I should be doing what I'm doing and um, if it's worth it and um, even if it's working. But I see attitudes changing and um, I've, never, I've never found a group of people that is more acceptable or accepting of the ideas of liberty and libertarianism than Republicans. And I do get some serious kickback and a lot of people don't like me in the Republican Party and that's fine. I'll just have to get over it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, sorry, the original question though was um, why are you so passionate about increasing personal freedom for so for 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 people for well it started because of my grandparents and uh, my grandpa is a business owner and i saw what the epa and unions did to his company and um he had there was such a regulatory burden on on his factory that i want i want to do things to help people who are entrepreneurs create their dreams so they don't have to worry about bureaucrats and regulations and the government just destroying everything that they built. Sure. Liberty Me is a lot about moving beyond the realm of theory into the realm of practice, into actually practicing libertarian, um, you know, economically liberal philosophies in your own life and increasing your own personal freedom every day. What do you think, this may th take some time to think, so it's fine, you know, but what do you think is the best way tomorrow for someone to increase their personal freedom? <laughs> Tomorrow? Um, so you wake up the next... Just quickly, you know. Um, I don't know. I mean, there, there's, I mean, there's several things that you can do. You could move to a state that has no state income tax. That's one way. That's one thing you could do immediately if you can afford it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Get, <laughs> get moving, folks. Thanks so much, Marianne. It's been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure.